ಕಾಮೈತಿ ಪ್ರಜಾನೂತ ಜಗದೂದ್ರಾಮೇರಾಜ್ಯಂ ಪ್ರಶಾಸತಿ ನಿರ್ದಸ್ಯುರಭವಲ್ಲೋಕ ಮಾನರ್ಥಂ ಕಂಚಿದ ಸ್ಪೃಶತೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ ನೋ ಥೀವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ ನೋ ಥೀವ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನೋ ಜೈಲ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಚಸ್ಮ ವೃದ್ಧಾ ಬಾಲಾನ ಪ್ರೇತ ಕಾರ್ಯಾಣಿ ಕೂಡ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಲೈ ದಿ ಯಂಗ್ಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ನೆವರ್ ದೈ always it is the elderly people are who die after completing their entire life in a very meaningful manner and na artham kanchit aspishati there was never a person who experienced any misery in the kingdom of ram thus the different virtues of the rama rajya it is actually called in the in indian parlance so <coughs> everything was so perfect in the kingdom of rama that there was no misery at all that is how the kingdom of rama existed when rama was actually the king so rama rajyam prashasati says and the person who actually reads the ramayana he is endowed with prosperity and <clears throat> all his wishes are fulfilled although it may take some time for the wishes to be fulfilled <laughs> because people might think that immediately all the wishes could be fulfilled so it is said that even for the wishes to be fulfilled according to the vedanta shastra a person should also have the bhoga adrishta he should also be destined to enjoy all the pleasures that he wants to enjoy otherwise even though he is he, he is ready to attain those things he will not be able to do, do so so these are the different fruits that a person attains when he reads the ramayana in the right spirit and in the right manner which alexander has done so he has also arranged a very good homa <coughs> as the concluding part of this parayana for the novel and the patamshika this homa is also very important because it is said yagna murtaya devata so the devatas of the gods actually are in the form of yagna and it is also said yagna vai vishnu <coughs> so the best method to actually worship a god is performing the yagna by chanting the mantras because it's also said mantra murta yaha devata the form of the demigod is nothing but the mantras which consists of the different bija kras and other syllables so alexander has actually worship the supreme god in all the different forms possible like yagna mantra and also the different parayanas and i am sure with the very uh, <coughs> deserving and very uh, pious priests who have actually performed this yagna he will attain all the wishes that he wishes he will attain all the fruits that he wishes to attain and also he will attain all prosperity in future and it's also a great thing that he has invited all the different devotees from different countries who have assembled here and it is said that patan vijo vaagrasha bhaktamiyat syaap kshatriyo bhumi patitvamiyat vanik jala panya palatvamiyat yanashta shudro ki mahatvamiyat so all those who listen to these chantings they will also attain all these different fruits and they will also incur the grace of the supreme god so that is the greatness of ramayana in the nutshell and i hope that i have been able to throw a little bit light on the different aspects of ramayana in a very short time so the ramayana is so vast that nobody can actually understand the entire gamut of issues that are involved in the different planes like the spiritual plane and the, the physical plane and so many other factors are also there <coughs> so i hope i have been able to say a few words regarding the greatness of ramayana and i hope i have been able to convey the meanings in a proper manner that i have tried and i actually i also thank alexander and all all of you for your patient hearing and i also thank him once again for this small opportunity given to me to share my thoughts regarding the great ramayana Thank you.